Hello, this is Pastor Jay, and I'm starting a new work today. A few minutes with Pastor Jay and the Word of God. And we're going to really take our time and just chew on this magnificent word. Don't you know that any part of the word that you get that you can commit to memory or put in your heart is powerful? It's so powerful that even the devil knows that he wants to remove that word from your heart and your mind. So let's just take a little time and just talk about this together. And please subscribe, like and share. So let's let's go ahead. I'm going to start at the chapter two of Colossians and I'm going to start in verse two, actually. And it says that their hearts may be encouraged. I'm going to change that a little bit. I'm going to say, <coughs> excuse me, that our hearts may be encouraged. Don't you know that every saint needs his heart encouraged? He needs to be lifted up. He needs to be renewed, restored, give confidence to. So Paul is trying to say he wants, he's praying, he's he's requesting and pleading with them after the last couple of verses in chapter one where he says we plead and warn every man, but I want your hearts to be encouraged. And how is it encouraged and why is it encouraged? Because the next line is because he wants it to be encouraged because it is knitted together in love. Being knit together in love. So the heart of God is in every saint and it's being knit together by his love and the love the other saints show each other in their day to day walk. And this love that we talk about when we talk about love, it's not an emotional love. It's a sacrificial love. The love that Paul is talking about is the love that Christ showed us on the cross. That love that paid and atoned for our sins. That we may walk in the power of the resurrection. That we may go forward in faith. Where the word of God becomes a lamp into our feet and a light into our path. And as we see, it's supposed to encourage our hearts. Because all of this is knit together by his love. We love him because he loved us first. And then it says the goal of the encouraged heart that is knit together by love is to reach all the riches of the fullness and the what? Understanding and what? And the knowledge of God. So the goal is that this love, this understanding, we can reach the riches and the treasures of his wisdom and his knowledge. So let's just meditate on that for a second. My heart is encouraged by the love of God. And because that heart is encouraged, it's enlarged with the wisdom and the knowledge of God. This is something that is attainable, that can be reached only through those who know how to love sacrificially. Then that lines up with Philippians when it says, considering others more significant than yourself. Like I always tell the saints of God, it's about you, but even the more it's about the person sitting next to you and how much of what God has given you are you willing to give away to them? And I'm not talking about material things. I'm talking about spiritual things because these are spiritually discerned precepts that we're going through. So we got the encouraged heart. We got the heart knitted in love for the purpose of reaching, being able to reach the knowledge and the wisdom of God. So as we treat people, as we learn of God, and how we should treat people, looking at them, not according to the flesh, but according to the spirit, a soul being saved, or a soul in this case that needs to be encouraged by the love that Christ has shown us, then at that point we are reaching for all the wisdom and the knowledge of God that's in Christ Jesus. Isn't that awesome? 
That's part of the mystery. Christ in you, the hope of glory. This is Pastor Jay. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll get right back. We'll go in the next verse and I'll see you on the other side. Like, subscribe, and share. And I always want you to be encouraged, blessed, and at peace. And do one more thing. Walk in truth. Peace. Hallelujah.